Hi, in task 37.1, we will be getting introduced to two new um, instruments or devices called the IP Graticule and the Stage Micrometer. You need to know about them because they will be helpful for you in measuring specimen size in practicals under the microscope. Uh, moreover, you get questions around IP Graticule and Stage Micrometer in your multiple choice paper as well as your structured paper. So let's look at the objective and why we are studying about these two objects. So uh, if you look at uh, your objective number four, it says use an eyepiece graticule and stage micrometer scale to make measurements and use appropriate units that is millimeter, micrometer and nanometer. So basically in this objective what they are trying to say is you have to use these two devices, IPS graticule and stage micrometer, to measure microscopic objects. And now we are going to learn how. So on your screen right now are the images of IPS graticule and stage micrometer. So the IPS graticule and the stage micrometer are glass objects which contain scales, tiny microscopic scales in them and they are used to measure the actual size of the specimen that you're seeing in the uh, under the microscope. IPS graticules have different names so sometimes in your Cambridge syllabus they will be referred to as IPS graticule and sometimes in short form as EG. In other syllabi um, the term ocular micrometer is used. Ocular means eye and this is called ocular because this is present in your eyepiece lens the lens which uh, is close to your eye when you see the microscope. So it's called ocular micrometer because the scale um, measures microscopic objects. So it's called ocular micrometer. Let's look at the stage micrometer. Uh, so all of you have dealt with glass slides uh, while doing different uh, microscopic observations in uh, 9th and 10th grade. So this is a normal glass slide but it is etched etched meaning um, permanently there have been scales um, printed or scratched onto the center of this slide and these scales are extremely small so you cannot see them uh, clearly you can't see each divisions of the scale uh, the slide itself gives you information about what is the size of your scale uh, sometimes it is about one millimeter sometimes it's 0 0.01 millimeter so that's the whole scale's length. If sometimes they also tell you what is the length of each division in the scale. So here is a slide showing where you put each of these um, scales. What you are seeing when you place your eye in the eyepiece, this is a, a say a 10x or 10 times magnifying eyepiece lens. Uh, you must have seen your teachers taking it out and fitting them back. So they are replaceable. So if you, sometimes the eyepiece graticule lens is detachable. You can take out the tiny glass piece and you can put it back into the eyepiece like this and then fit it. And when you see your specimen, you will your specimen will be here on the stage. Yeah, this is the stage over here. So when you see the specimen, you can see specimen and this scale is actually fit to the eyepiece lens. Okay. Uh, this these lenses are called the objective lenses. Now in our school we have 10 times magnifying objective lens and 40 times. In different microscopes you can also attach a 4 times magnification. Okay, So now this lens will also magnify the image further. So twice the image is getting magnified. Once at your eyepiece, once at the objective. We all know this. Now let's look at this diagram. Here the four times objective lens is magnifying this specimen's image four times. And here the eyepiece is multiplying it by 10 times. So your total magnification is becoming 40 times. 4 into 10. So that's what is shown over here. 4x is your objective's magnification. 10x is your eyepiece lens's magnification. And there is a total magnification of 40x. So the specimen that you're seeing is not of actually 40 times the size, but the real specimen will be very, very small. You will also notice that 
the ocular micrometer does not have any units you can see there are large lines or larger divisions then there are some medium sized divisions and finally in between them there are the smallest divisions i'm asking how many divisions are there that means i'm asking you to count every gap and that will come up to 100 so this ocular uh, micrometer over here has 100 divisions but you do not know what is the length of this scale that's why we say this is uncalibrated means you only know the number of divisions but you don't know what is the length of this scale okay now let's understand uh, how to use this ocular micrometer to actually measure the size of microscopic specimen that's our main objective so we know how an ocular micrometer looks and how a stage micrometer looks remember in your syllabus the ocular micrometer will be called eyepiece graticule and it's the same thing okay so we are going to now look deeper into how this uh, eyepiece graticule helps in measuring size of the cell so we already know that the ocular micrometer or the eyepiece graticule is found in the eyepiece lens and we know that the stage micrometer is a glass slide on which a small scale is attached and you need to keep this glass slide under the objective lens on the stage and then we will be seeing what to do next. I will tell you after this slide. So let us look at these cases, three cases. So in the first case you have uh, you are observing your specimen at four times magnifying objective lens remember the objective lens is the lens near the stage and your ocular lens means your eyepiece lens has a ten times magnification when you view your specimen in 40 times magnification 10 into 40 your specimen looks this big and your eyepiece Graticule. This graticule is in your eyepiece lens. It looks like this. Now let's look at the next focus. This is your field of view. Here you will notice that your specimen are looking larger and your eyepiece graticule scale is appearing more clearer. Can you tell why? Let's look at the uh, specifications over here. The reason is now our eyepiece lens is the same. 10 times magnification but the objective lens earlier was 4 times now it has become 10 times so I have changed my objective lens I have rotated the disc and I have changed my objective lens to 10 times that's why my specimen is appearing larger and the overall magnification has now become 10 into 10 that is 100 times that is the reason why my specimen looks bigger and my uh, eyepiece graticule scale actually does not look different it's the same why because I haven't changed my eyepiece lens now let's look at the third image I'm using my same ocular lens with the same eyepiece graticule or the ocular micrometer but my specimen are appearing bigger again why look because the objective lens that I've taken is now a 40x lens so the overall magnification of the image that I'm seeing with my eye is 40 into 10 400 times magnified okay now what do you notice in all these three cases we notice that the specimen size is increasing when we are increasing the objective lenses magnification okay or when we are changing the objective lens but the eyepiece graticule scale size remains the same throughout that is because the eyepiece graticule is fixed to the eyepiece lens or the ocular lens which you are not changing from the starting till the end. Okay. So this tells us that the eyepiece graticule doesn't have any units and when you keep changing your objective, the scale will give you a different number of divisions for your specimen. That means we need to do some kind of calculation so that we know what each division means and this calculation will change every time you change your objective lens if you think that I'm going fast 
you can pause the video and review it from the beginning thank you for pausing i will now move ahead now let's look at the stage micrometer i told you that the stage micrometer is just a special glass slide why special because in the center of this micrometer a tiny scale or a ruler is etched and etched means printed and this scale uh, will just appear like a tiny line to our naked eye but under the microscope you can see tiny divisions or small lines on this scale on the top corner of this scale you will see uh, something is written like one division equals to 0.1 0.01 mm it means that when you see under the microscope this line will have so many divisions most of the time these divisions don't have a number on them they're just lines but remember that these lines are equally spaced okay and again in this scale also there are three types of line large medium and small lines and there's some information which is very important given over here that is gap between each division is 0.01 millimeter that means unlike our eyepiece graticule a stage micrometer scale length is known to us okay if gap between each division is 0.01 i can count the total number of lines and i can tell what is the length of this whole scale how will i do this so these are the division markers and i first count the big lines when i count the big lines i see there are 10 big lines in between the 10 big lines there are again another 10 uh, medium lines and in between the 10 medium line there are four small lines in each gap so i can totally say that there are total of 100 divisions and each medium scale is the uh, multiple of 5 so 0 to 5 to 10 to 15 20 25 30 and so on and in between them the smaller ones if i add all together there are total 100 divisions on this stage micrometer what more do we know each division is 0 0.01 millimeter this is given by the manufacturer already so we can say that one division is the space between any two division markers and the stage micrometer has a total of 100 divisions so if there is a total of 100 divisions then i can say that each division if i convert the unit i know that one millimeter is thousand micrometer so 0 0.01 millimeter is 10 micrometer we know that we do all our microscopic calculation in this unit micrometer so we are going to convert and see uh, what is the total length of this scale you can pause the video and can you tell if one division is 10 micrometer what will be the length of the whole scale yes so the length of the whole scale is 100 into 10 micrometer that is 1000 micrometer so now you already know the length of the whole stage micrometer and what is the value of each division so this scale will be called as a calibrated scale means you know the length and value of each division of this scale now in uh, cases where you are measuring uh, an unknown object size you always need a calibrated scale but the problem is if I keep the stage micrometer on my stage how will I keep my specimen I can't put my specimen on the stage micrometer so that is why the only thing that can help you in measuring the specimen is your eyepiece graticule so now we know that we don't have any information about the size of the eyepiece graticule so in that case we are now going to study in the next part of the video how to calibrate our eyepiece graticule that means how to know what is the length of our eyepiece graticule using the stage micrometer so now we will find the value of an unknown scale using a known scale